In just a minute, I'll show you how you can quickly automatically rearrange your artboards inside of Illustrator. A couple of quick things I would like to show you first. If you don't see your artboards panel, up under Window, Artboards is where you'll find it. Now, having clicked on an artboard, if you click on it a second time, it will jump you to that artboard. Now, it doesn't have to be a double click, it's just two clicks at some point. So for example, if I click on Artboard 4, wait a few seconds, if I click on Artboard 4 again, it would jump me to that artboard. This is cool if you're trying to do that. This will drive you nuts if you don't want to be doing that. Just keep that in mind, guys. If you wish to rename an artboard, simply double click on it. So you can see Artboard 4. If I just double click on that, I can easily give that a name. And also, having zoomed in on an artboard, you can quickly zoom out to get a bird's eye view of all of your artboards by coming up under the View menu and coming down to Fit All in Window. Keyboard shortcut is Command Option 0 or Control Alt 0. So if I click on that, very nice, jumps me out so I can see all of my artboards. Okay, so we're nearly ready to start automatically rearranging our artboards. But the most important thing we have to do is pay attention to the order in which they appear inside of our artboards panel. So you can see here, for example, the number one on this artboard just here corresponds to artboard one. Here's artboard two, which is the second from the top, artboard three. Now artboard four, all the way down here, notice I have that as fourth from the top within the artboards panel. So that way, when all of these artboards automatically rearrange themselves, this guy way down here in the bottom right will be the fourth artboard. So if you need to move your artboards around, so for example, if artboard eight, I wish that to be say second in my sequence, I need to grab it and move it so that it's second from the top. So you can see I can literally just grab an artboard and move it around. There we go. See what happened just there? So under view, we are looking for fit all in window. So I'll just move eight back to the very bottom. So you can, again, you can drag and drop just there, or you can use these arrows just here as well. So I can move them up one position at a time. I'll just move eight back down to the bottom there. Okay, that's great guys. That's everything we need to know. Let's start automatically rearranging some artboards. So the button we're looking for is down in the bottom left just here of the artboards panel, rearrange all artboards. You can also find that from the flyout menu just there, rearrange all artboards. Okay, so let's systematically work our way through all the options. Let's go with a simple one first. It's this one just here, arranged by row, and we'll arrange from left to right. Also notice I have a spacing 200 pixels just here. That means all of the artboards will have a spacing of 200 pixels between them. No big surprises just there. And this one just here, uh, move artwork with artboard. I'll show you that one a little bit later. So we have layout in a row, and from left to right, choose OK. And there we go, very nice. Pretty much what we expected. And you can see that was done automatically and very nice and fast by Illustrator. Let's dive back in, keep this organizing the layout by row, change the order from right to left, choose OK. And sure enough, it's now one on the right, eight over here on the left, very nice. Diving back in, let's choose this one just here, arrange by column. It doesn't matter which way you have the layout order, whether it's left to right or right to left. Just have it arranged by column, choose OK, and there's our column, one at the top, eight at the bottom, very nice. Let's jump back in. Let's look at this one just here, the layout of grid by row, and I'm going to choose left to right, okay? So the way you read this is, it will build a row, and the number of elements, the number of artboards in a row, will be this number just here, columns. So again, it will build a row with three elements in there, but since we have eight artboards, I'm thinking I would like four artboards per row, which would you give, which should give us two rows. Let's have a look. And sure enough, there we go. One through four, and then five through eight. Diving back in, let's just change that layout order. Choose OK, and there we go. It's just reversed from right to left. Very nice. Jump back in, and order from left to right again. Let's choose this one just here, grid by column. So the way this works is the opposite to this one just here. It will build grids, excuse me, it will build columns, and then the number of elements within a column will be this element just here. So let's change that back to two, choose OK. There we go, this time it goes one, two, three, four, and so on. Jump back in, let's reverse that direction, choose OK. And there you go, from right to left. Okay, and then jumping back in, I wanted to show you that one last option just there which was move artwork with artboard. 
which we've had turned on this whole time. So remembering all of the content was with was moving with the artboards. If I turn that off and we'll choose something radically different such as the grid just here, excuse me, such as the column just here, I'll choose OK. That's the result that we get. So not sure why you'd ever really want to use that guys, but just in case you do, that's what it's going to do to your work. So let's jump into a more practical example. I have, I'll just zoom out here with a command option a zero. So I have five artboards just here. So you can see this is my, uh, just zoom in here. So I was kind of liking this logo that I built just here. And I've been building different variations of that logo, just slightly different uh, color variations. Also, if we jump into my artboard tool with a shift O, and if I click on one of those artboards, you can see over here in my properties panel, uh, the width of this guy is 2200 pixels. So it's not huge, but it's also not small. You'll see why that's important in just a minute. Okay, so I've got done five artboards. I'm thinking, let's drag out a couple more variations. So with my artboard tool selected, I'll just hold down the Alt or the Option key, drag out a copy, select all of my artwork, jump into my swatches panel and maybe color all of these a dark blue. And maybe let's grab another variation. I'll drag out another artboard, select all that artwork and color it light blue. Okay, so there we go. We have seven artboards going on just now. Let's jump in and start to automatically rearrange these. Actually, before we do, of course, I need to pay attention to the order of these things, right? So let's say I'm thinking I really like this all dark blue version. So you can see currently, if I click in here, it's number six inside of my artboards panel. So let's bring that to the very top. And maybe I'm liking this light blue version second best. So if I click inside of here, you can see it's currently at number seven. Let's bring that up to number two. So again, if I click in the dark blue version, it's number one. The light blue version, it's number two. And then I have a version just down here, which is all light blue with some dark blue trim on it. Let's say that's my least favorite. So I wanna make sure that's at the very bottom of the list. So if I click inside of there, sure enough, it's showing up as number seven. And then I'm not really fast where everything else shows up. Okay, so I've paid close attention to where everything sits within the artboards panel. Let's get rearranging. So let's jump into the rearrange all artboards button, click on that. And let's try and put this into a single row going from left to right. And I've got this exclamation mark here. And here's the problem. Remember I showed you that artboard size a few moments ago? I'll just cancel out of there. So if I zoom right out just here, you can see with seven artboards, each of them at, was it 2,200 pixels wide? Let me double check. There we go. I can't actually fit all seven of them into a single row. So diving back in there, guys, if you ever see that exclamation mark showing up just there, that's probably what's going on. The artboards are actually too big to physically fit into what you're trying to achieve. So let's maybe go from say left to right, and I'm thinking I'm liking this grid option. Let's maybe throw in four artboards per row. Definitely move the artwork with the artboard. Let's choose okay. And fantastic, that's our result just there. So guys, I hope that helps. That's automatically rearranging your artboards inside of Illustrator. Happy designing.